Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As the banner on the wall says, it says Bone Crusher SS. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you check out the rest of the playlist. You know, we got a bunch of projects. We've got the Corvette, which actually is missing. It's actually at the dyno shop right now getting tuned. So that was a very long build, and I'll have a link to that playlist up above. And the other main build of the channel right here is the Chevy SS behind me. And this car is a LSA supercharged V8. LS3, uh, 6L80 Auto. So we'll have a link to that build playlist in the description above as well. So today's video is not about the Corvette or the SS or the truck. Today is actually about a project that's been a year in the making. About six months ago, I picked up a tank of gas for a welder because I had a welding project on the Corvette. I had to weld a tow hook on it. Well, I used the tank for that, and then I had to return the welder because it was a borrowed welder. Well, about a year ago, you know, I started asking for gift cards and, you know, waited for a birthday, came along, got more gift cards. And then finally, uh, a couple months ago, I uh, finally used all those gift cards and I had a coupon for a welder. You guys might be wondering, well, what, are, what did we pick up? As you Eagle Eye viewers may have seen in the previous build series, the welder's been here for quite a while. It's actually been in front of the SS for almost two months now. It's sad to say that it took that long for me to finally get to this project, but I have been slammed with the Corvette. Yes, even though it's not here. I've just been slammed with that car, doing the blower intake, exhaust, clutch, clutch twice actually, and all the good stuff. So we've just been super busy in the shop and I've not had time to get to this project. Plus, I haven't had a need for a welder you know, to bust it out. So let's uh, reveal what we got. If you guys come over here, you guys will see a box for the OmniPro 220. And uh, move some stuff out of the way. This is a multi-functioning welder and it can use 110 or 220 volts. So, you guys might criticize me for a little bit for choosing a Harbor Freight Vulcan welder, but these have been on the market for about a year, year and a half, and a ton of people have done overall positive reviews for them. The only thing that's kind of lacking is duty cycle on some of these models. You know, and I don't, I'm not really sure if the Omni Pro 220 falls into that, but I've, I've been looking at their uh, Pro TIG 200 and the duty cycle is kind of weak compared to other models. But since I did not pay full price for this, and by the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. This was a, you know, a bunch of gift cards, a coupon, and I got this welder for a pretty good deal. I'm not gonna say what I paid for it, but I'll just say I, I saved several hundred dollars because I just had accumulated gifts and gift cards and stuff. So I didn't pay full price. I mean, I did, but I didn't. Um, but for even the on sale price, I think it's on sale right now for $8.29. That's not a bad deal for a welder that does TIG, stick, and MIG welding. So, you know, for a multi process, it's not a bad deal. So, in today's video, we're just going to get this thing opened up and set up and uh, kind of go through it. All right, guys. This is a very heavy box. And, uh, you know, getting it in and out of the car was uh, quite, quite the ordeal. So let's uh, get this thing open up. Basically, there's some tabs on the side here. Pull them open. And uh, get ready for your new welder. All right, there's that. Here's your congratulations book and basically how to set it up. And guys, somewhere in here, there is a coupon for 25% off another item. So as you guys can see, there is a 20% coupon for any Vulcan branded accessories. Well, that's cool, but honestly guys, I've already got most of these accessories. We'll, uh, we'll go through those later in the video. So 
So let's get the welder out. Oh wow. Guys, this thing actually isn't that heavy at all. Most of the weight, you're gonna laugh, is this third box is larger than I could get. Here you go guys, here is the front of the Omni Pro 220 welder. You have your door, accessory. There's a nice little uh, switch here to open it up and inside you've got all of your Megan TIG settings, you've got your spool. Alright guys, inside of this box is the regulator. This will be your air and CO2 regulator. A spool of wire and your gas hoses. And then this box is going to be the MIG gun power cord. Alright hey guys, we have connected the gun, the MIG gun, to the welder. What they don't tell you in instructions is, they, they do mention that this connector, the gun goes through the slot in the case. What they don't tell you in the instructions is, this thumb screw has to come all the way out. I was trying, I, I loosened it, it went in, I loosened it a little bit more, it went in. But what you actually have to take this thumb screw all the way out for the gun to slide all the way in properly and the instructions aren't quite clear about that. And then the MIG gas connection, the gas connection for the gun right here, that only goes in one way, make sure you push it in all the way and then start threading it to the right. Well, there actually came with two sets of wire. One is this two pounds of flux core welding, so that's gasless welding. And as you guys can see, I installed the two pound of uh, the solid welding wire. So this requires the gas, the argon uh, CO2 mixed gas. So that is basic, your basic setup for MIG welding. For TIG welding, really the only thing you're going to have to do is add the foot pedal. So that plugs in through the case here. I don't know if you would want to feed it through where the MIG gun plugs in or you would just kind of leave the case door open like that. You know, I don't know, but that's kind of up to you. Actually guys, <laughs> I see what they did. They actually put the wire through the label. We'll fix that later. So you're gonna to wanna to take your wire, feed it through here. All right guys, we have removed that extra piece of welding wire that we showed earlier. I straightened out the spool. I fed this in, I tightened this back down. Tighten this one down. We're tight all here. But we're just hand tight guys, nothing's like overly cr cranked. Then we'll move the welder around for you. We've turned on the welder, we put it on to the MIG mild steel setting so if you guys go home you can change your various settings to flux core stainless we're just going to do make steel c25 so we're 75 percent argon 25 percent co2 we do have that and as you guys can see we did take the gas feed line and put it into the proper lead on the front just like the screen says and then we've taken this is the clamp you know your ground clamp put that in in the proper side so that's gonna be on the left tighten it we're tight tight we're, we're gonna confirm so let's try this cold wire feed 
Ah, there you go, guys. So, now that we have the wire, you know, fed properly, we have the spool tightened. Might want to loosen this up a little bit. Alright guys, as you can see, I actually have the wire properly fed through the end of the MIG gun and if we turn the welder back on, and we press the cold wire feed, this should feed it. As you guys just saw, it, it fed about three, minute, three more inches. So we uh, are almost ready to get started on welding. So the last thing we really need to do to get prepared for welding is would be to hook up your metal ground strap plug that into whatever you're working on and uh, you know start pointing the gun at it like I showed earlier there's your various options you can go flux core no gas required how thick and gauge you know you can adjust your gaugeness You're ready to start welding, go back to home. Go to the spool gun, you got 4030 aluminum, 5356 aluminum, stick welding, and the TIG. The TIG obviously requires a TIG torch and 100% argon gas. We do not have that. I do have the TIG torch, but we'll do TIG welding in another video. And uh, that's pretty much it. So back go back to our MIG welder we're good hit confirm you know change your thickness various thicknesses you can weld and go from there and then here you should be able to adjust the wire speed and this will be your volts you know how how much power you're gonna feed through it so that's basically it you know we're obviously gonna go And when you're in the main menu, these side buttons don't really do anything. Go to setting, measurements, information. Oh, cool, you can see kind of the software information. I don't want to do a reset, so let's go back to home. And you got your various setups. And there you go, guys. That's your basic unboxing of the Vulcan Omni Pro 220 welder. And I literally have just unboxed this for the first time and I haven't began to explore all the options. And I mean, trust me, we have plenty of options. We've got the TIG torch, we've got the foot pedal. I actually even picked up the spool gun because it was like half price on, it, on eBay. So picked one of those up and uh, so we can do basically stainless steel TIG welding, mild steel TIG welding, aluminum spool gun welding, and uh, you know, your basic MIG gun features and stick welding as well. I forgot about that. So yeah, a lot of features out of this. The only thing it doesn't do is aluminum. I've kind of been looking at the TIG, the, the TIG Pro 200 or the 200 TIG Pro, or whatever the name of that thing is called. But honestly guys, I think what we're gonna do is learn basically how to weld, practice weld on various uh, surfaces and stuff on this welder first before we get into the aluminum welder. I kind of, you know, I actually have a project lined up that I'm gonna to need to get a aluminum welder, you know, an ACDC TIG welder. But right now, that's kind of on the back burner. We got other stuff to get done first. But like I said, this is pretty much the unboxing and MIG setup. We will do a TIG welding, you know, stainless. I've got some stainless actually left over from an exhaust project. We'll do that in a future video, but before that, I need to get all of this stuff cleaned up guys you can see it just <laughs> this garage was cleaned before we started this now there's just stuff everywhere so we got to get this stuff all cleaned up i actually do have a 
welding cart to put that on. So we're gonna do that in a separate video, a welding cart. And uh, you know, in that video, I'll actually hook up the uh, argon bottle that we've got back there over next to the hood. So a lot of stuff to do and uh, be on the lookout for future welding videos. Now guys, I've admitted this in the past. I am not a certified welder at all. I've only MIG welded 10 to 15 times in my life. And the last time I MIG welded anything was the Corvette project that was on a borrowed welder. And I keep coming to that same kind of conclusion where it's like, I need a welder, I need a welder. I finally bought one with you know the help of friends and family with uh, the gift cards and stuff. So we, we picked this up. So this is kind of be going to be a ongoing learning, you know, welding journey, as you guys can say, you know, now that we have our own welder, I can weld anything at any time. That's really cool. And uh, like I said, you guys are just going to have to come along and follow uh, with what we learn and what we screw up. And I'll be first to admit, you know, when I screw up, I'll show you guys, you know, we'll show you like, oh, we should have done this, should have done that. The other thing is, guys, about that uh, TIG welder, I've TIG welded once and that was at the Rebel, uh, ESOB Rebel display at SEMA a couple years ago. I TIG welded for about 10 seconds and that was about it. And that was on mild steel. So TIG welding aluminum is a whole new game and uh, obviously can't do it with this machine, but that is a goal for further down the line. So we'll, uh, we'll just have to go you know, with the flow as they say. So we'll be on the lookout for further welding videos. I don't, this will not become a welding channel. It's just kind of gonna, be a nice to have and if we ever got to do anything we've got the tools to do it so the welding videos will be in between you know we'll see it every now and then anyway if you guys enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do if you want to know when i upload new content hit that bell notification button down below and as always if you want to help support the channel click the links down below thanks guys have a great one mm -hmm.